SwiftUI's built-in image view is great when you want to load images straight from your Xcode asset catalog. But when you want to load remote images from the internet, that's when you want to use an async image instead. These are made using a URL rather than a string file name or an Xcode constant. But after that, SwiftUI takes care of the rest of us for us. It'll download the image for us, cache the download and display it automatically. So the simplest async image we can make looks like this. We'll do async image with a URL being a new URL with a string HTTPS colon slash slash hws.dev slash img slash logo dot ping. Now I made this picture to be 1200 pixels high. When it's displayed, it's being shown much, much bigger. This gets straight to one of the most uh, interesting fundamental complexities of the async image view. SwiftUI has no idea what logo.ping looks like until it downloads the picture. And so it isn't able to kind of size it appropriately ahead of time. I download it first and see what happens basically. Now if I want to take this 1200 pixel image and put it into my project, I'd actually call it something like logo at 3x.ping and then add an 800px version called logo at 2x.ping so I could see 3x and 2x resolution and so forth. And SwiftUI then take care of loading the right version for us. It'd say, well, on, on a 3x device like an iPhone 15 uh, Pro Max, that'll be the 3x version and a 2x version of the 2x, da, 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 which is great. And it makes sure it loads it correctly and quickly and nice and sharp no matter what at the correct size always. But as it is, SwiftUI loads the image and shows it at its full size, 1200 pixels. It'll be bigger and blurrier on our screen. It cannot tell at the 3x image. There's no clue here for it to load the thing being smaller. To fix this, we can tell SwiftUI ahead of time, this thing it's downloading is actually gonna be a 3x scale image. So I could say, load that URL, and then say the scale factor is three. And now it gets sized correctly. And if you want to give it a precise size, well, you might try saying something like this. Not scale, but uh, frame width 200, height 200. And that's not going to work. And perhaps that will even surprise you because that wouldn't work with a regular image either. So you might say, okay, I'll, I'll just make it resizable, then give it a frame like so. But that's not going to work either. And in fact, it doesn't even compile anymore. Um, the modifiers we're applying here, resizable and frame, aren't applied directly to the image SwiftUI downloads because they can't. Again, SwiftUI can't know how to apply them unless it's actually fetched the image data from the internet. Instead, we're applying these modifiers right now to a wrapper around the image that's downloaded, which is the async image view. That will ultimately contain our finished image when it downloads a thing, but it'll also contain a placeholder view that you use while the image is being downloaded. And you can actually see it just briefly when it runs. It's really, really fast in the preview. It's a little gray square, kind of comes and goes. See it really fast on my screen, just there in the middle. That's the placeholder uh, appearing. To adjust our actual image, we've got to use a more advanced version of this async image view that passes us the final image once it's ready. The actual image internal view here, which we then customize as needed. As a bonus, this gives us a second closure to customize the placeholder as needed. For example, we could say, um, make our finished image be resizable and scale to fit, and then use color.red as a placeholder. So it's more obvious you can see when you're learning this thing. Uh, so I'll say, go ahead and do the same URL. Give me the image coming in, and I'll say, make the image uh, resizable, sizable, and scale to fit, scale to fit. And then make the placeholder be color.red. And now you can see it working correctly. So that red square flash is happening. That's our placeholder loading. And the finished picture is now being placed correctly at the right size. And so because the finished image is resizable and the placeholder is resizable, they'll all take up the available space. But the outer frame is now capped at 200 by 200, 
So that frame modifier now actually has an effect. This placeholder view can be whatever you want. For example, um, you could replace color.red with progress view, right? just that. And you get a little spinner appearing really quickly depending how long the download takes, uh, which is much nicer than solid color, I think. Now, if you want complete control over your remote image being loaded, there's a third way of making your async image that tells us whether the image is loaded uh, or hit an error or it hasn't finished yet. So there's now three states. Right now we have loaded or loading. Now we'll have loaded, loading, and error. This is particularly useful when you want to show some sort of dedicated view when a download fails, if the URL is bad or if the user was offline, for example, or whatever else went wrong. And uh, in this one, we don't take a whole image coming in, we take an image phase, an image loading phase. And now we can check in here, we can say if let image is our phase.image. So can we read the image from our phase? If we can, we'll send back image resizable scale to fit. Like that. Uh, it's complaining a little bit. Give it, give it a minute, I'll fix it in a second. Uh, else if phase.error is not nil, then we'll say, uh, let's do text. There was, that was, there was an error loading the image. Otherwise, we're loading, we'll do a progress view. And then I'll remove this extra tray enclosure and just use that. And now the code's correct. So now we're having two closures. There's this one, give me the phase. If we have an image, go ahead and show it. If we have an error, show an error message. Otherwise, show our loading view there. So it's all three states. We might manage in a single async view and they're all being told to fit into that 200 by 200 box.